You look at Google Analytics for reports and you see this mysterious domain called gtmmsr.appspot.com. In fact, this domain can be visible in other platforms too that you have installed with Google Tag Manager. So if you're wondering what it is and how to get rid of it, then let me show you. So this issue is related to Google Tag Manager. And if you have installed various tools like Google Analytics, maybe PWIC Pro, maybe Microsoft Clarity, all of them might be affected by this GTM MSR app spot. This is not documented by Google, so we don't know the real reason why this is happening. But currently the consensus based on some guesses says that this is most likely related to malware inspection or something like that, which means that Google is using some tool on gtmmsrappspot.com, they load your container and then they check if there is no malicious code there. And this means that when your container is loaded on this website, your tags fire on this site. And tags are not only related to Google Analytics. If you have other tools installed with Google Tag Manager, they will also be loaded and therefore you might see the AppSpot data in your reports. For example, this is my demo property and I checked what happened in the last three months and each spike shows that there was some scanning or whatever you call it related to GTM MSR appspot.com. So as you can see, they happen sort of randomly. They might happen, let's say every two days, they might happen after several weeks, after a month or so on. So the question right now is what can you do to prevent this? Here's what I would do. If you have, let's say, thousands of page views and sessions and you get just several page views or several sessions coming from GTM MSR app spot, then probably I would just do nothing and I would ignore this because the impact of this is way too small. But if you have thousands of sessions, but then hundreds of sessions and events and data points coming from this particular host name, then you could add additional conditions in your Google Tag Manager container to fire tags only on specific domains, or you can exclude specifically the app spot domains. This could be done by going to Google Tag Manager, then you could create a blocking trigger. So you go to triggers, then new trigger configuration, custom event, then switch to regex matching and type dot asterisk. And here one of the approaches would be to include only those events that match your own domains. And if the data is coming from any other domain that does not belong to your business, then Google Tag Manager would block that trigger from firing. So this trigger will be used as a blocking trigger. Therefore, we need to enter some sort of like a negative condition. If the page host name contains or actually does not contain your own domain, let's say that your domain is example.com, then this blocking trigger would work and would prevent tags from firing. So let's call this blocking other domains or something like that and click save. And then you would need to go to tags, select your tags, and I mean all of them, then click edit triggers and add an exception with this blocking trigger and click save and save again. Then this blocking trigger will be added to all tags and the logic will be like this. This tag, for example, will fire on all pages, but if the page host name does not contain your own domain, which means that it contains any other domain, then this blocking trigger will prevent the tag from firing. So this solution should work. Of course, your historical data will remain unaffected, but in the future, if your container is loaded by the GTM MSR app spot, then your tags would not fire and you would not get that spam data in your reports. The main drawback, even though it's not very large, is that your list of tags will look more polluted because you will have a bunch of blocking triggers. So if you don't want to do that, then alternatively, you could update your firing triggers and make sure that all of them contain the condition that this tag must fire on your particular domains. For example, if you have all pages trigger, which cannot be edited right here, you would need to create a new trigger, which is page view, and then some page views where page host name contains and then your domain like this. So then you can call this all pages example.com or something like that. Click save and go to tags. And for example, I have all pages, which is the default one in the meta pixel tag. So I could click here to 
remove that trigger and instead I would use this trigger instead and click save. In that case, I would no longer need to have the blocking trigger in this particular tag. So the list would look nicer because I would not have the blocking trigger, but it means that every time you create a new trigger, you would need to include that example.com condition. Of course, keep in mind that example.com is just an example. So in your case, you should be using your own domain. And if you have multiple domains, then you would probably need to use regular expressions to match all of them. And that's the end of this tutorial. If you found this video useful, hit the like button below the video. That will help me understand what videos do you like and what should I create in the future. Also, if you want to learn more about Google Tag Manager or GA4, then subscribe to this channel. My name is Julius, this is Analytics Mania, and I'll see you in the next video.